How are ya? How are ya? Today's Tuesday. Huh. So, I'm making a snippet roll, and I thought I would just come on here right now and do this with you guys. So, I'm trying to figure out the best way for you to see me. working here for me. There we go. Let me see what this looks like on my end. Um, hang on a sec. Maybe it's better if I don't have that light on. That doesn't really make a difference, but <laughs> good morning. How are you? I'm working on this little uh, snippet roll. I'm kind of wondering if I should try to flip you guys around. Although I never like that. Hi, Joni. How are you? Well, what I'm doing is real simple. So I think I guess we'll just do our normal hangout. You can kind of see what I'm doing, kind of not, but I'll, sh I'll show you some close-ups as we go along. So if you've never made a snippet roll, it's really easy. It's basically just like a long strip of decorated lace or, I mean, the base can be whatever you want, but I have this long piece of lace here and it has little stars in it, which when I saw that, I was like, oh, that would be a cute little Christmas lace. And so I'm just laying it out here and you basically just layer on a bunch of different textures and fabric, lace, paper, metal pieces, whatever you want. And then you are left with this really long decorated piece of lace that you can cut up and use in your journal however you want. You can cut it to different sizes. Um, I definitely have some videos on my channel like showing different ways to use these but today I'm just going to be making it and I'm going to do a no sew version. I usually sew these but I thought it would be fun to try out a no sew version. So I already started but what I'm going to do is get started with my next little section here and I'm going to start by layering on music paper because I want these to be kind of Christmas theme and I felt like Christmas or I mean I, I think music paper is fun to use for Christmas themed embellishments so I'm actually just going to like cut long strips of the music paper and lay it down and kind of repeat that as we go down the line. Let me know if you guys have made a snippet roll before. Hi Genevieve. And then on top of the music paper, I'm going to layer another lace. This is kind of like a a crocheted looking lace but it has these cute little design this cute little design on it and I'm not even gonna cut it up I'm just gonna keep it on this roll so that I can just go along and make this whole thing easy and I'm not adding any glue or anything yet just kind of like that um the next thing I'm going to add on is either fabric or I have some pieces of this like snowflake sheer fabric. Also, I actually put some links in the description for you guys. Maybe I can go ahead and pin that as well. I'm trying to get better at making Amazon lists for you guys so you can go to this list and it will have everything or at least similar items to what I'm using for a project and and they're all just right there for you. So I'm going to do this one 
and for this list I um, let's see let's pin that to the top there I added these cute little stickers that I'm planning to use. I showed them in a haul, I think, but they're really cute little vintage looking stickers. And they come with a pa like six packs of these, or it was like four or five or six packs of these. I can't remember how many. They're really, really cute. So I'm going to be using those as kind of my focal image on here. I also have tons of little safety pins um, some of the Tim Holtz safety pins. I don't think you can see that, but they're really cute. Bulb pins, um, star brads, which you also can't see. Teeny little bells, because Christmas. So yeah, all of those are on the Amazon list. I also included this Tim Holtz Christmas book. By the way, I found Tim Holtz Christmas stuff at Joann's yesterday. Uh, it was Sunday. And I filmed a little video, so I'll have that up. I did just put a Joann's video up, but it's not that one. So I found everything. Yes, you do. Yes, you do love those Tim Holtz pins. I see that. So I'm going to layer on just all the different little things here. And if you're wondering, okay, since I'm not sewing it, and if you're wondering how I'm going to get everything to say, I'm just going to use my stapler. Because I feel like that adds another little element to everything. I like staples. I don't know. I don't know if you do. So, oh, also, here, let me pull out a bunch of these stickers. It's pretty quick once you get started. Um, so, like I said, my focal image on these is going to be the little um, vintage stickers I have here. And then I will top that off with uh, one of the Tim Holtz word stickers, and these are all Christmas themed. So basically, it has a bunch of different, different like festive words, like Merry Christmas and Fa La 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 La, and Winter is coming. But this sticker book also has some really cute like little washi strips, which maybe I'll use some of those too. Yeah, let's do that. We'll add some more color in here. So I'm curious <clears throat> if you guys have seen the Tim Holtz Christmas line in your Joann's yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna layer some of these things on. Like I said, I'll show you a little closer view once I get everything pinned down. So I'm just gonna go through here and alternate the stickers. So I plan to cut this up into like one inch. No, let me see. Two. Oops. Let me see how big that is. Oh, maybe three. So I'm planning to cut these up into like three and a half inch pieces and I'm going to package them up individually. But if you want to make one of these for yourself to like have on hand, um, it's really fun to just go ahead and make an entire snippet roll and then you can roll it up and like keep it on your desk and just use it for your own projects. If you're making a bunch of journals, these are really nice to have on hand because you can just have, have it ready to go and you can use it as layered embellishments. You could put it on top of envelopes. You could put it on top of a pocket. Let's see, Diana, not at your Joann's. Yeah, check today. I just ordered some, a few more things that are in the collection that my Joann's didn't have, and it showed that it was in stock at a different location, so I, I bought them online and I just got a notification that it's ready to pick up. It's the embellishment pack. So I'm going to pick that up, I'll do a video and show you all of the things that are in the embellishment packs. I'm so excited that I got my hands on it. Um, so if you're curious if your Joann's has the Tim Holtz collection in stock, then you can go ahead and look online and it will show you if it's in stock and then you can either purchase it for pickup or go in, but just be warned, it might show in stock 
and still be in the boxes because like I said, the first location I went to, it showed they had everything and I couldn't find everything. So I asked the nice little lady who was working there and she told me that, yeah, it's there, but it's like in the boxes. So she said, keep checking back. So, <clears throat> all right. So like I said, I'm just, just layering everything on. I'm gonna staple it all down like I won't get too far without stapling it. Um, whoa, your closest Joanne's is 40 minutes away. I guess you can do online orders though. I think this stuff, I should check. I think it's online. So <clears throat> I'm just basically Repeating the whole step as I go along, as I go along. Okay. Um, oh, design clean. You've made one, but you only used it twice. I mean, I do stuff like that all the time. I'll make it. I'll, or I mean, I'll make things with the intentions of using it, but... Yeah, I forget all the time, so I get that. Okay, and I'm gonna be packaging these up in cute little envelopes. Just need a little bit of that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna use my little Tim Holtz stapler. I put this on the Amazon list so you can grab your own. I use this thing so much. Okay, so I am just gonna go through and add a couple staples just to make sure that everything that needs to be held down is held in place. And I like, I like the look of staples. So it doesn't bother me, but you can sew these, you can glue them. Um, I'm gonna finish this off using the pens, the little bulb pens and the brads, all of the metal pieces I'll do last. Um, these are mini staples also, so you kind of, you can't really even see them to be quite honest. I know that not everyone likes putting staples on their projects, but I am not one of those. Okay, I'm not going to get too far because I want to be able to show you, show you the little deer. And these sticker packs are my favorite. They're so freaking cute. What else do I have? I think I have some other sticker packs. You could also use, so instead of stickers, you could use like printables. Uh, oh, that reminds me of something I gotta do. Okay, I'm just gonna take out all the stickers because there are little trees. Like I said, this is a really cute sticker pack that I got from Amazon. So if you need some Christmas stickers, grab this one, grab it. I'm just gonna dump them all out. Let's see. Oh yes, I can zoom in. Yeah, when I first got on here, I was saying I wasn't sure. You guys can't see what I'm doing, but typically I'm just standing here hanging out with you but let's go ahead and I'll try I just my tripod is a piece of poo poo and it's really hard for me to move around but hang on one sec let me um so you just have a hobby lobby so you looked online and it looks like it looks like he's arrived that's exciting but just remember they might be in boxes they might not actually be there yet um, oh, that's okay. It is okay that you missed the beginning. I'm gonna try to bring you guys around. Okay, I'm gonna, it's just gonna be crazy for a minute. So let me flip you around like that. You can see all of my messes.
I need to be able to get in here too, so it's pretty much the best I'm gonna be able to do. All right, that wasn't too bad. It's just sometimes when I do this, people get dizzy. <laughs> Lorel, hi. You like the staple look? Yeah, and like I said, you can't you can't really even see the staples too much if so. Okay, let me know guys, is that okay? Um so once I'm done stapling everything down, I'm gonna go ahead and move this. Sometimes I'll find something falling off, so then I'm like, oh I need to add more staples. Let's work on one more little portion of this, and then I'm gonna add the little metal pieces which is like the main event. Okay, so we have music paper. I put one of these washi strips. We have a couple different laces, some sheer fabric. I'm gonna move this over here. This is just some really pretty trim. I like everything to be kind of peeking out at least. Um, let's go ahead and use vintage Santa. These are stickers, so I haven't been taking the backing off, but we can also Eh, never mind. Let's see here. So like I said, I'm going to be cutting these up around three or four inches. So I'm just trying to keep in mind that I want to have one of the focal images every like three inches or so. Um, so probably right around there. It doesn't have to be exact, but you know, like yeah, I'm just trying to keep in mind so that when I cut them, each piece is going to be like a full embellishment. If you will. If you will. Let's see here. We'll put a cute little deer. I think this is a fun project to do. Maybe if you're doing making um, happy mail for a few people or you're making journals for a couple people, you can make one of these up and then cut it up and have plenty of pieces for everyone. I don't really know what I was gonna say there. So I'm gonna staple this on. And then like, yeah, if you have any like loose pieces, like I'll put a staple where the washi strip is, maybe right here to make sure that this trim is held on. Sometimes when I cut them up also, little pieces will kind of come up and I'll need to add more staples, but I just kind of go, go along with it. I just add the staples when I need them. I have this cute sheer um, snowflake fabric. I added a snowflake trim to the Amazon list that's pinned for you guys. Um, and I thought that was really cute. It's similar to this. So let's see. Let's go ahead and add a little snowman. <laughs> I just reminded myself of Tammy. Do you guys, do you guys watch Trailer Trash Tammy? I think it's Chelsea Lynn. I don't know if any of you watch mukbangs. I do a couple on my second channel just for fun. But anyways, we'll put one more washi strip over here. You can't really see that over here, but I'm going to go ahead and just staple this down and then we'll add, we'll add some final touches. I really like how these look when they're sewn. Um, it's probably my preferred method, but I also like this. Okay. Now that we have this piece pretty done, I'm gonna go through and add a, a little metal piece to every little section. So, Pamela Pumpkin, that's a funny one too, actually. Like I said, I have these little um, star brads. I can't really get this to focus when it's this. Yeah, anyways. Um, and then I have the little Tim Holtz pins. And you could add these little bells. Pamela Pumpkin. And we're about to kick some, I don't really know. <laughs> shake off the Skittles, shake off the Skittles. 
Now ride the witch's broom. Now ride the witch's broom. <laughs> Can't say, uh, 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 uh. Okay, sorry. Um, okay, I'm just gonna add one of these every so often. If I had, if I could find my bulb pins, that's what I would be using here. I cannot use them. That might be a weird placement, but we're just gonna go with it. Um, we'll add this over here. And the brads I just put through the entire lace. And I don't mind re using a star like two in a row just because these are essentially going to be cut up and turned into two different embellishments. So, If you are going to sew yours, sew it before you put your metal embellishments on. It's much easier that way. Now ride the witch's broom. Now ride the witch's broom. <laughs> oh good no. Squawk, Satan, kick him in the crotch. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, I need to do my nails. Um, I have, like, six packs of nails from Timo. I should show you guys which ones I got. Um, where do we want to put this one? We'll put this, like, right there. I am at a really odd angle right now, just so you know. So, it's a little hard for me to... I like adding the bells because it's so festive. I need to add another staple here. There we go. I just want to keep this whole thing for myself. I'm not going to lie. We'll put a little star brad over here. Let me show you the nails I just got. Um, one sec. Yeah, I'm gonna have you guys help me decide which nails to use. That nail. So bear with me. Bear with me. I think there's another pack, but that's okay. Okay. We got Christmas. We got Christmas nails. I should give you the links to these, I guess. We have these like marbled ones. It's hard to see. Those are really hard to see, but you get it. These are, these are probably too long for my liking, but these are really cute. They're sparkles with some rhinestones and whatnot. These are floral. I probably don't want floral ones right now. Gross, my nail. Sorry, guys. I feel like I, I feel like the, wait, is it a little too early for Christmas nails? I don't know. Oh, you hear the dog barking. <laughs> yeah, that's outside. That's outside. Someone always has their dog outside um, all the time. Middle of the night when it's freezing. I don't understand. It's okay though. Who am I to judge? Uh, let's go ahead and put this one right here. Wait. Just trying to figure out where it's gonna look good. I don't know if I actually want to put any of those nails on, even though I just told you guys to help me choose. I think I'm not feeling any of them. I was thinking the Christmas ones, but I feel like I don't want to do Christmas yet. Okay. It's 
a little hard. The bulb pins are so much better. Um, I like the sparkle. Yeah, the sparkle ones I think were my favorite. I'm just afraid they're too long. Oh wait, you can trim and file them down. Ooh, okay. <laughs> not too early for Christmas. Now. Yeah, I guess, I guess it's not. I guess I just wanted to, I don't think it's too early for Christmas stuff per se, but I personally was wanting to save those for, to wear like a little closer to Christmas. Um, they say you can reuse them, but I never like them reused, so. Okay, if I can trim them myself and file them down, I wasn't sure how they would, how that would work, but I might use, do the sparkles. Um, let's see here. I have a lot of the star breads, so I was thinking I could double up on a few metal pieces on a few of these. Okay. We're almost, we're not to, okay, we're almost to the end of what I've decorated. I'm going to decorate this entire thing, but you just ordered five sets. That's fun. They're so inexpensive, dude. Okay, we'll put this one. I even like these. I even like the Tim Holtz pins just by their self on here. I, Cause I always like like metal embellishments on my things on my, there we go, ephemera pieces. Cute, cute. Let's go ahead and, okay, like I said, I'm going to be making more of this, but since we're here and I kind of want to finish this up, I'm going to go ahead and start cutting these up again. Oh, this, this is hard for, this is hard for me. I don't like to cut it up, but let me take a picture real quick here with my other phone. We'll put some of you out here tell you these sticker packs are so cute look at all of those cute little like vintage there's like vintage children they're so cute the deer the reindeer are my faves can't go wrong with some vintage reindeer okay sorry i'm just gonna <laughs> don't mind me i'm just gonna take a quick video so we can show the Instagram folks what we've been working on. Why am I getting an accent? I don't know where, what's happening here. Now you'll see the making of my very shaky Instagram reel. Hmm. I've never done this before where you guys see what I'm doing, but. Just wanna get a few pictures before I cut it up because it's too cute. I actually posted one picture on Instagram um, already saying come hang out. And this is not even the best place for lighting or anything, but whatever, we're good. Sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> Now we're gonna go ahead and cut these up and I guess we'll just stay like this. So I'm thinking like right around here, it doesn't have to be exact. Yeah. So you can kind of see what all of these little pieces look like. Um, I'm actually gonna cut right there. This one's a little bit bigger, but I mean, I mean, not complaining. I just need to make, I need to be able to make like, how many of these do I need? I need, 15 to 20, I don't know. But I can use other trims if I need to. I just want every piece to have at least one of those focal images. Okay, so. Let's see here. I bought Christmas, you, so you bought Christmas, sparkle, matte, flowers. Good, good options. See how cute these are? 
Now, like I said, sometimes I'll go through and just make sure that everything is like held down. It's not gonna come up. So a few ways that you can easily use these in your journals. One, let me go grab, let me grab a journal that I just have right here. Um, this one might be filled up, but that's okay. Just for an example. So let's say you want to add like a photo, but you just want a quick, easy way to decorate your page. You can just put this down in the corner. You could take an envelope. Hang on. Let me grab one here. I have a little like coin envelope here. Whoops. <laughs> you could put like some journaling, little photos, memorabilia in here, and then take your snippet roll piece and just attach it to the flap here. You could staple it on, glue it on, whatever, and then you can still open it. It's a little hard to show without doing it. And then you have all your things inside, but then it's just a really cute little decorated envelope. You know what I mean? And let's say you have one of the pieces that's a little bigger. I mean, to me, that looks cute, but you can also trim it down a little bit if you needed to, cut it down. Um, you could take some paper and make a little pocket here, put this in the middle of the pocket, and then you have a decorated pocket. You could sew this into your journal, like on the three sides, and this will be a little lace pocket. These ones, I mean, this, it would be kind of small, but you could put cute little like tags, like, let's see. I have all these little, you know, it could be a little pocket like that. Um, so many different little things. You could make a belly band, put this in the middle for decoration. Um, if you are making a snippet roll for yourself at home, you could keep the pieces uncut and then you could make this entire thing like a belly band. You know, like if this wasn't cut, you glue it down on each side and then you can put things behind it. So that's just a few quick ways that I like to use them. But I'm giving these ones away, so. Hi, Jen, how are you? We just got done making these cute little, well, we made this snippet roll and then I cut them up because I'm gonna go ahead and package them. So I'm going to actually package them in these little policy envelopes and I'll just package a couple with you really quick. Uh, what was I going to do for this one? One second. I'm going to grab a couple stickers from my Tim Holtz little booklet here. Let's see. Um, let me grab some Christmas washi tape. I'm sure I have some somewhere. Eh, you know what? Oh, I do. I do, but, well, it's okay. We'll just pretend like you can see the words Merry Christmas. Just kind of go like that. And then, one sec here, I gotta, and then I need this to be numbered 10, like that. Okay, and then we're just gonna go ahead and just pop it in here like that. I'm not gonna close it yet because I'm gonna add something else in here. And then you have a cute little packaged, whatever you wanna call it, <laughs> packaged snippet roll, there we go. So yeah, I'm just gonna do that same thing I think to all of these, so. That's crooked. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, uh, that Pamela Pumpkin song is in my head now. <laughs> so funny. So yeah, I gotta go to Joanne's today so that I can pick up my order, the rest of my Tim Holtz Christmas stuff. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to the post office. Let's see here, we'll put that in like that. We'll put a star right like that. And like that. Something like that. All right, guys. Yeah, this was really fun. Oh, see, there's a piece of fabric here that's maybe not held down. So, like I said, I'm going to make sure. Because once you cut these, sometimes you cut a, a piece off where there was a staple holding one of the pieces on. So, I guess it's a good idea just to kind of go back through and make sure everything's held down. But these are so much fun. So I hope that you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go. I actually need to go do my nails. <laughs> it's bugging me. And I need to keep working. So thanks for hanging out, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I will see you guys soon, okay? Okay, bye. Love you.